All right, guys, we're back again with another adventure today. I had some people asking. So before my other firewall rules, which you guys should catch, and then this will be an add-on, or hey, if you just already have your own firewall rules ready and you just wanna know how to block your UDM from accessing uh, the other VLANs, so people that are on those VLANs can access your UDM, basically we're gonna stop them all. Instead of like Pokemon catch them all, we're gonna stop them all. So let's get down and get to it. So, if you guys haven't watched my other video though about doing firewall rules and everything and setting up your VLANs and all that, I'll leave a link up here. But hey, in this video, I'm just gonna show you how to block your networks from accessing your UDM interface. So, let's get into it. All right guys, so the first thing you guys are gonna see is you're gonna log in. I'm using network 8.0.7. That's the version I'm using. So first thing you wanna do is check your networks. So we got, depending on what IP uh, range you're using, I'm using the 192.168.1.0, if it's zero, four, whatever. Just remember what these are and how do you get your UDM interface. So with this network setup, my UDM interface is one, Dot one. The default network is one, so it's 192.168.1.1. Now, if I go to IoT network, since this is IoT, it's on a two, VLAN ID two. So that means that if I wanted to get to the UDM interface, it would be 192.168.2.1. And that's how you would get to the UDM interface and log in if you were on the IOT network. Guess, same thing, just a three. So depending on your how your networks ran, different you know IP ranges, just think of it that way. Next, what you're gonna do, once you guys have what is what, we're gonna wanna go to profiles. And there's two things we're gonna wanna create here. Like I said before, I don't have extra ones of these. I can just bring down, maybe one day Unify will sponsor me and I'll just be able to make some cool stuff show you start from the beginning and all this kind of cool stuff all the time. I would love that, it'd be amazing. But from now on, I'm just gonna show you what to do. So the first thing you wanna do, remember, this is just to block your VLANs from accessing your UDM interface. So what first we're gonna do is we're gonna do block HTTP and HTTPS and SSH. So you can just copy these. These are the ports that the UDM uses uh, for all the Unify stuff uses to access the router itself, so just copy these ports. So you would change type to port group, it's probably default already there. Type in your groups, hit add, and they'll just go down here, copy the exact same, and you should be good. It's gonna be the same on all their UDM, UDM, SE, UDR, UDM route, I mean all of it. Just copy what I have. After that, now we're gonna do the block to gateway. I would name it the same too, block to gateway. And this is where you're gonna put it. So we want them, because remember, you can be on a different VLAN and still go to 192.168.1.1. So we wanna block that. We wanna block, hey, this is our IoT, or I think it was, the, uh, yeah, this is the IoT network too. We don't want them to be able to go to their own interface on there too. So we want them to be able to block from this IP address, this IP address. And then for the guest, we have uh, 3.1. We want that one not to be able to go to this or that. So every time you create a new uh, VLAN, you're gonna have to add this in here, but that's why the profiles or groups are cool because you can just add a whole bunch in here. So if you're a firewall rules, you don't have to do manual. You'd have to manual, let's say you had six of these or five of these or even just three, you'd have to create a separate rule with all different rules for each one instead of just saying, hey, this one rule applies to all these VLANs. I mean, all these uh, VLANs right here, yeah. All these different VLAN I IP addresses applies to all whatever firewall rule you set this to. So it just makes it so much easier and just kind of simplifies it. It's like a cheat sheet almost. So the next thing what we're gonna wanna do, since we've created both of those, we, we created block to gateway, we created uh, block SS, you know, HTTP, HTTPS, and SSH. Then you're gonna wanna go to our security. And we're gonna go to firewall rules. And I, I like to do it all. I just like to kind of just see what I'm doing every time. It's just a habit, whatever. I go to all, 
I'm gonna go down and show you. So what you're gonna do is create a new entry, obviously. And we're gonna go to, we're just gonna do this one, block UDM to IoT interface. So it's gonna be a land local. You're gonna set it to land local. And you can name it to whatever you wanna call it. This is the IoT network. So I'm saying block IoT to UDM interface. And we're gonna hit drop. And then under network, we're gonna select the IoT, which you've created. If you watched that video, I'll put a link up here again for you. Created all your different networking rules or you already know what you're doing. Then you're gonna go down, make sure all this is the same. Go down here and we're gonna select poor group. We're gonna do what that the destination is. We, they're not gonna go, the destination is, they ain't going to our uh, UDM. So we're gonna put this block UDM because that's what group we made, that all those different IP addresses, those 4.1, 3.1, or 10, or 0, whatever you made for your IP range, that's why it's here. So that's gonna apply all those three different ways you can get to the UDM and block it out from you, anybody accessing it. So then we're gonna go to port groups after, and then the SSH. You're gonna add that in there and hit save, and boom. Now we'll go to the second group I had. Second group was uh, from guests, so from the guest network. So source type. Uh, and the reason I created the guest network instead of having it, it's just, it's a lot, I, I like doing it better this way than doing it the pre-made guest network. I like to do let certain things through the guest network like printer or something like that. Let people that are over saying, hey, you know, kids, friends come over to do school work and stuff and they need to print something. I can at least let them access the printer without letting them access my network or family members come over, have to do work. It just makes it easy or hey, I have a NVIDIA Shields or a Chromecast or whatever, and I'm like, hey, you know, family comes over, they can stream to the living room uh, TV only, but they can't stream to my bedrooms, my office TV, they can't do any of that. So it's kind of nice just having it that way. It's just easier for me to do this. I don't, uh, and it just works really easy just making a guest network itself. Sorry, got into that blabber right there. All right, so basically it's the same thing again. We want to set our network, guests uh, from the IoT uh, that we've created. And then, um, you know, we've created it, it'll be in that link again. Uh, destination type, we're gonna do um, block to gateway again and block SSH and add, and you are rocking and rolling. After that, you were done. And it's gonna be down here at the very bottom because it's local. And as long as you don't have any accepts, remember, make sure that these, well, there's no accepts for the, you know, allowing them in, make sure these are above it. If you don't want them to access it, just make sure there's no accepts above these and there's no way that nobody will be able to get into this. So this is what you want. Drop, land local, block IoT, the UDM interface, or block guest, or block your office, or whatever network you have, and you should be safe as cheese. They won't be able to access your stuff, none of your, um, UDM interface and it just makes it, but obviously we didn't do one for the default network. So if you're still on the default network, you'll still be able to access the UDM interface. But hey, hope you and your family are having a rock and rolling day. I hope you guys like these videos. Hey, if you guys like these videos, like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you guys don't miss any of my videos. Peace out and I'll catch you in the next video. Rock on.